Hello, do you enjoy blowing leaves? Do you suffer through spring and summer when you don't get to blow dead leaves around with your leaf blower? Well, fall is a time for you if that's the case. Now you're able to get your electric powered leaf blower or gas powered leaf blower out and blow leaves for hours at a time. Because the good thing about it is if you blow them early, then there'll always be more to fall and you'll always have to do it again. Okay guys, so what we are working on today is this thing. This is the, it's called the 90 degree oil filter adapter that goes on this dart on this 318. And we don't like to crawl under there, so I'm going to see if I can show it to you from above, which I probably can't. But if you look right in there, right in there, in that spot right there, that's where the oil filter or the oil filter adapter goes onto the engine block. So what happened is this thing has got gaskets between it and the block like that and a couple other gaskets and it has this large bolt that goes through the center of it to hold it onto the block. So here's the replacement gases, there's three gases as a matter of fact in total. And what happened here is this thing started spontaneously leaking around the perimeter of this adapter. That's the side goes to the engine right there. That's where the oil filter goes on. So this thing started leaking and evidently this, when they put this engine together, they half-assed this. They didn't know what they were doing or they didn't know what they were doing and just threw it together. So it looks like they reused the original perimeter gasket and they didn't bother to clean off the gasket that's on this head of this bolt. If you can get a look at this maybe eventually. So I'm chiseling that off and when you do something like this, it's got a gasket and there's oil fluids being retained by that. Make sure that you don't scratch from the inside out because that creates a pathway for oil or whatever to leak out. Chisel it like around what you know just make a, a circle with it and chisel it up that way if you put scratches on this thing it won't leak so you got the perimeter gasket then you got this is the gasket i'm chiseling off right now this is kind of a metallic fiber gasket and it goes under the bolt head when you put it together and then you got one that goes inside this whole thing around the bolt and i didn't even put that cork one on i got this thing apart it ain't there it goes kind of sits in right here and uh, you can see there ain't no, been any gasket there in a long time and what happens is when you do that when you leave that gasket out then it lets oil that's not been filtered bypass the filter and go right back into the oil oiling system so that's not good that's a stupid idea to do that and I'm kind of in a bad mood because of this because my brother had this engine for me and his cure to fix this leak was just to tighten it further he didn't replace the gaskets like I'm having to do so I'm gonna have to I was the one that got stuck with this job and it's a mess for the second time I've had to fight the oil filter off of this thing by beating holes in it and banging my hands up and stuff so I'll show you real quick I paid this oil filter back for causing me so much grief there you go. That's what a sledgehammer will do to an oil filter if you get wax. Blow those leaves. Blow the hell out of those leaves. Get them all blown and go inside and then there'll be more out there by the time you walk back out two hours later, you idiot. Alright guys, see you later. Bye.